Good morning and welcome to the Wednesday morning reflection with me, Megan Alden. And with me is Kayla Carrico. And we are so glad you could join us today. Um, we are going to do another now and reflection and this is on the communion of saints, which is very timely since Kayla, what was Sunday? Was it, mm, hold on, mm, was it All Saints Day? It was. And wow. so, very good, gold star. So if you Thank watched you. our services on Sunday, you probably saw some special things and some special remembrances. So we thought this was a great one to kind of, you know, continue on that vein a little bit. And this is called the Communion of Saints. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and just read it. It's not too long. We often limit the church to the organization of people who identify themselves clearly as its members. But the church, as all people belonging to Christ, as that body of witnesses who reveal the living Christ, reaches far beyond the boundaries of any human institution. As Jesus himself said, the Spirit blows where it pleases. The Spirit of Jesus can touch hearts wherever it wants. It is not restrained by any human limits. There is a communion of saints witnessing to the risen Christ that reaches to the far ends of the world and even farther. It embraces people from long ago and far away. It is that immense community of men and women who through words and deeds have proclaimed and are proclaiming the Lordship of Jesus. And that's the end of that reflection by now. So what did you like about that one? Well, I, well, I do like All Saints Day. I like thinking about the saints and my Episcopal kind of background comes forward where we, we do a lot of, you know, saint singing and saint thinking. <laughs> but I have enjoyed and I enjoyed the services where we kind of bring it back to just common people and how important we are also. You know, I'm not a saint but I still feel like I'm a part of that communion of saints in a way, because we all do special things. So that's kind of why I liked this and kind of, it felt like a continuation of what everything we were talking about in the services last Sunday. Yeah. What do you think about it? I like this one. I like the idea that the communion of saints and the communion of Christian believers isn't just like spanned across geography and the here and now, but is also spanned across time. Yeah. So that right now we are in community with people from hundreds and thousands of years ago. Yeah, I agree. That's, that's a good way to think about it too. You know, the long and go and far away, you know, mm -hmm. that's not something we always have in our forward thinking, you know, <laughs> But this is kind of that time when we can kind of hearken back and think about that community. Yeah. Well, thank you everyone for joining us and happy November because we've gone into a new month now. It's hard to believe. <laughs> I know it feels like, wow. <laughs> every, time, every time we get together, it feels like it's a new something. But yep, we're in a new month and we've changed our clocks and everything. So it's definitely moving into the another season. We'll be in winter before we know it. Well, Kayla, I hope you have a wonderful day. And everyone, we will talk to you soon. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Bye.